Hello and uh, welcome back to Krona Trigger um, with me SLJ RPG. It's a blind walkthrough. I've never played this game before. Um, in the last episode, we finished up at the lab in 2300 AD. We came to this end of time. We gained the ability to do magic, and we are now going to head back to our own realm. Go to the Medina Village. Let's see what else we can do. Oh. No, not quite yet. <laughs> and go back to Protodome Net. Sweet. So, we will head to the Medina Village. appeared here but we're in a house of fiends it looks like you folks came out of my wardrobe didn't you what are you doing in here who do you think you are coming and going from someone else's wardrobe at all hours of the night and day humans i tell you why is there magic in you magic using humans were supposed to dried out long ago that might be terrible you, if there's any uh, non-English people understanding. You might not understand that. Uh, wait a minute. Medina is a village of fiends founded by our ancestors when they lost the war against the humankind 400 years ago. Most of the town folks still have a grudge against humans, so be careful. There's an old human that lives in the caves of the mountains to the west. He may be able to help you out. Thanks. But why are you being so nice? I thought these weren't supposed to get along with humans. It's been 400 years since man warred against the fiend. Ain't no use living in the past. Of course, not many other fiends seem to agree with that. So, let's have a little look around here first. Forest ruins. I'm guessing that's somewhere we're going to have to come back to. The elder's house. Which is here. Let's have a little look around. Have a bit of an explore. A fearsome beast lives in a cave in the mountains to the west. Only magic can arm him. I doubt a human would be able to make it through, not being able to use magic and all. Well, I get better better get back with Tidy before Ozzy the Eighth catches me. Obtain speed capsule. Hmm. Blast that Ozzy the Eighth, always hiding behind his ancestral frame to boss us around. Yeah, monarchies are mon monarchies are difficult. Uh, not a big fan of them. This work is brutal. Uh, Ozzy the Eighth, the leader of the village, my great 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 grandfather, fought against the humans at the side of the Fiend Lord himself. Oh, great Fiend Lord, why did you exterminate? Why didn't you exterminate the human race four centuries ago when you had the chance? I do not know why he did not. Can we close the blinds? No, we cannot. So, that's the Elder's House. That is the residence we came from. Let's try this residence. Oh, no, I am incorrect. That was the residence we came from. We can't get into that one. So, let's try this market. No stinking human's going to talk to me. i got nothing to sell the humans. Get out of here. Let's plead. Humans think they've got the right to everything. Teach them a lesson, boss. Oh! I think we're going to try and take out the underling first. But let's try and use some of this magic that we acquired in the last episode. Ooh. we not attack anything else? Oh, we cannot. Oh, lightning to you. And then we shall attack. Oh, okay. <laughs> no damage. <laughs> and we learn Antipode Bomb Dual Tech. They beat you, boss. Monsters. Alright, I'll sell. Woo! 
we are not going to be buying anything here. I might, however, sell some of this equipment that I've got. Not the, uh, not the plasma gun, though. Oh, we've got five speed capsules. Hey, you think I'm going to charge a human the going rate? Evidently not. Let's equip that now, actually. So, Luca. Plasma gun. It's nice to see that we can actually do all of the characters in one section. And that we've still got the thing. So, I am guessing that there's three other party members to join us still. Um, Frog will be one, and then we'll two more that I have absolutely no idea. Uh, right, so... Let's try the inn, and then we'll go see what's sparkling in the town centre. Anything here worth grabbing? No rooms for humans here. Plead. You still talking to me? Good for you. Do you know what's good for you? Do you? Get them, boys. XP, 3 TP, I'm guessing he's going to charge us something insane, Ack, help, I'm okay, feeling energised already, I'm curious about forest ruins, but I'm not going to go there quite yet, I'm going to go see who's at this thing to the east, uh, sorry, west, Chrono, what's that, Chrono, what's that creepy chanting? I'm not gonna comment what the imps look like here. I'll let your imagination run wild. <laughs> oh, great fiend lord. So this is what the fiend lord looks like. 400 years ago have passed since Magnus commanded the fiends, waged war against the humans, but if Lavos can be reawakened, there will be no more humans. It was the fiend lord Magnus who gave life to the almighty Lavos to aid us. Once Lavos awakens from his long slumber, the human race is doomed. So that was what we saw in a couple of episodes ago at the destruction. We saw the thing come out of the out of the ground and destroy thing. That is what Lavos is. So let's see what is in Melchior's cabin. Who we spoke to at the square. And he let's check downstairs first there's anything good <laughs> uh, and he tried to buy the pendant or try to get us to convince Marl to give us his pendant for a price but we'll see oh you've come to see me well by all means have a look at my collection could I interest you in a weapon I'll give you a special price yes bye so we've got the plasma gun we've got a hammer arm we will buy two titanium vests and we will buy a crimson blade for Chrono. So let's equip that now. Let's uh, equip a titanium vest for Marl and a titanium vest for Luca. We've all got iron helms. Beautiful. And then we will sell our pocket blaster our thunder blade and our iron suits and i will use this speed capsules weapons are not meant for the taking of lives they are meant for saving them i will use these speed capsules now on the oh we've only got one what did i see five okay i think i'm probably gonna use marl more so we'll give it to her Oh, if you wanted to return a truce, there's a shortcut through the cave in the mountains to the north. Cool, so that is where we are going to be heading right now. Hecran Caves. Death to the enemies of fiend kind. Oof, we one-shot these guys. Oh, the animation for the plasma gun is good. 22 experience. 2TP, 270G. 
Let's go. It sounds like water. <laughs> like a lot like water. Obtained an ether. Oh, it's handy. Now. There are certain enemies in here where our regular attacks do not really count for much. So we're going to have to use some uh, magic here. So we're getting some lightning on this bot. Pop, sorry. And then we will slice down the rest of these. This game does like little squid things, doesn't it? <laughs> The attack kind of reminds me of the uh, the aliens in Alien, which is a film that I haven't watched in a very long time. Right, three, two, one. Two. One more here. I will probably edit out some of the battles in here make it easier but like I said if we get a uh, if we get a new enemy that we have face for I'll keep it in oh I need to heal Marl very badly oh we didn't see what this was so we've got ice we're l learning cure we're learning cleave and napalm and then Antipode hits enemies in a circle with fire and ice. That sounds pretty goddamn good. <laughs> so we'll try that out next time we get the chance. Right, let's go. Weird scallop beetles. Let's actually, yeah, let's try that now. Antipode bomb. A lightning on these guys. Woo, 290. Easy done. Yeah, we're going to have to make sure that we, uh, more so than ever, keep an eye on our MP. Let's go down here first. Ah, purple ro roadstillos. So, let's see what I can do. We'll use an ice attack on one of them. And then we'll use a fire attack on the other. And I will get Chrono to attack the last one. Okay, <laughs> that's definitely not that strong. And a mid potion. Nice. Ah, oh, bats. It's evidently put Chrono to sleep, but that's fine. We will attack. One. One. Okay. It's probably a magic only dungeon. Why would you attack him? You should wake him up. Right. Ice on that one. We will use fire on this one. I think the idea of each um, each party member having like an element is pretty interesting. I think I would. It means it's probably not as customizable as you might get in most modern RPGs, but I think it adds a bit more interest to team building. You really have to kind of like think a bit about who you want to do. Ooh, magic scar. What do you do? 
plus two magic. Hmm. I think that that would be handy on Marl, just because she's got cure. Oh, she's learning cure, so she might become more effective. Having a more effective healing spell is always handy. Here we go. A mid ether. That's evidently somewhere we need to go. Chrono's increased. Let's see what's up here. An ether. We seem to be getting a lot of ethers. How is our magic points looking? Yeah, okay. And let's go through here. More roly boys. Two hundred and mid potion. Let's heal up. With my stockade of potions. And then let's make our way through here. Another one of these annoying jar things. And there we go. I'm not sure I like this water sound effect. I think I'd prefer <laughs> some sort of background music. Although I understand its place, you know, and the need for it. Um, it just feels a bit ominous. It feels a bit grainy to me. Right, so let's heal ourselves. Am I not on the save point? I am not on the save point. I <laughs> what? What? Hey, right. <laughs> Fifth time lucky. So, shelter. Cause save points usually mean something bad is about to happen. And then, let's save. And let's go do this. Death. Death to enemies of fiend kind. So, let's hit it with our trifecta of elementals. So I think it's probably a good idea for us to keep a healthy look at our health bars during this. So I will be using Marl's healing ability a fair amount. Okay. In that case... Ah, there's a counter-attack mode, so we should avoid hitting it during when it looks... I don't know how to describe what that is, but <laughs> like that. Uh, right, tech, fire, let's go. I mean, I haven't done a normal hit yet, but I'm assuming it's going to be like most of the monsters in this area. Uh, where it's a little bit... Hairy. <laughs> when it comes to taking physical damage. I am going to heal him now, actually. Just in case. Aura. There we go. Combo. Lightning. Tech. Fire. This. And then I might try and do an antipode. Antipode? I'm, I'm assuming I'm saying, alright, antipode bomb afterwards. Oh, shit. You were going to heal Athenium Water. Go. Tech. Aura. Actually, no. You were going to use an item. Mid potion. On Luca. Go. 
and you were going to use a mid potion. Oh no, I did not notice that she got that low. Uh, tech, fire, go. We are the elemental benders. Cyclone there. We're going to use an antipode bomb now. Just because I want to see if it does extra damage. And I'm going to try mate your boy out here with a physical attack. Yeah, eight like I thought. Combo. Antipode bomb. Then Chrono is going to heal himself after this. Three hundred. Nice. Item. We're not going to attack whilst he's in this kind of crouch down thing. We will wait. Cool. Combo. Lightning. For your boy. And then another antipode bomb. Cool. Seems like we've won. 250. 1,500. If, if only Lord Magnus had destroyed the human race 400 years ago when he first brought forth Lavos, the world would belong to us fiends now. <laughs> nice. Uh, so Magnus... So Magnus created Lavos in the Middle Ages, and in the future, Lavos destroys the planet? If we go to the Middle Ages and stop Magnus, can we change history? If we use the gate in the fairgrounds... So that's where we should try and go we shall jump into the pool and it seems like we are back in truce so uh, I'm gonna end the episode here thank you very much guys uh, if you like this please like and subscribe uh, if you're enjoying the journey I know I am and uh, peace